All right, guys. Guy. I'm so Continuing used to saying on. guys. Continuing on. Onward and upward, beyond the skies I go. All right. Name that song. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I think you brought a topic to the table today. I did. Why don't you let the viewers yeah. know what it is? Um, so obviously, guys, you know, uh, normally we do news type stuff, and very rarely recently we started doing like just random topics related to gaming and uh the one i especially randomly... when news has just been sucking lately yeah yeah it's kind of one of those dead news weeks i mean it could be just like a dead news month honestly <laughs> but uh up until e3 obviously but um i thought uh a good a good discussion would be uh which is a shame jacob and zach aren't here because i feel like they could chime in a lot here too but uh, maybe we could do like a continued discussion of this later on down the road but yeah my question was why do you play video games that's well, simple games. why do you play them they're fun yeah <laughs> they're fun I know exactly why I play games, and well, I always I would have love known. to hear your answer first, if you don't mind. Okay, um, now so I can steal it. I should have written down points to kind of go off of. Because <laughs> I'm one of those people. This might sound weird. I'm a much better writer than I am speaker. Like getting thoughts from my brain out of my mouth is way harder than getting thoughts out of my brain into my hand onto a piece of paper. Like if I wrote all this down, it'd look like this beautiful novel yeah. or something. But well, saying just, it, I might kind of sound like an idiot. You're just weird then. Yeah, but anyway, so the first thing I think of is that. For as long as I can remember, my entire life, always the way I've decompressed after a day, or the number one way I relax ab above anything else is playing video games. Like I, I never feel more at peace than when I'm sitting by myself, peacefully. No matter what game it is, actually, I take that back. If it's like a competitive shooter and I'm online, I'm like breaking stuff. <laughs> or, I, at least I used to. You can refer back to our rage quitting uh, podcast to get stories about that. But uh, if it's just like, for example, The Witcher, The yeah. Order. Uh, any game I played in the past, any RPGs, mm -hmm. any like story-driven games like The Last of Us, like I'm never more at peace than when I'm sitting alone, just playing a game, just mm -hmm. invested in a story, invested in other characters. It's like, for example, watching a movie. I also love going to the movies. That's like my favorite thing to do outside of my own home is to go to the movies. Mm -hmm. and, like that's one of my favorite things. I like getting invested in a story and getting to know characters and kind of going on a brief adventure for two hours and getting to like yeah. kind of cherish that time. But uh, mm -hmm. The number one reason why I play games is because I'm I'm most relaxed when I play video games. It's just very peaceful to me. It's very enjoyable, especially when like no one's bothering you. You're just chilling, doing your thing, having a fun adventure on whatever world you're in that yeah. that time or that day. And so first and foremost would be the way I decompress and relax. Also, it's uh like I said, I really enjoy movies, but um. And, and people that are gamers, hardcore gamers, even casual gamers could probably admit that totally different experience, obviously, compared to watching a movie or reading a book to playing a video game. Because when you're obviously everyone knows this, when you're watching a movie, you're like, I mean, you can feel like characters emotions, you can feel what they're going through, you can experience what they're going through. But you're watching from like an outside perspective and like seeing in when when you're playing a video game, obviously, you obviously. You, you are the character. Yes, obviously, uh, you are the character you are. Uh, going on this adventure as them or with them uh, whether you're a companion to a character or like you are the main character like you you are taking on the role of this character and you are becoming who they are and you are going on this journey as them especially in games like the witcher and mass effect and uh, all other games you make choices in like you're cre you're creating the story around yourself whereas a movie like it's already set in stone like you kind of know what's you kind of see like what happens yeah. as it goes but when you're making your own decisions and uh kind of creating the story as you go and, and truly become a character becoming a character especially when you create your own character it's totally just immersive experience it's unlike anything else i think all like hardcore uh, ex uh, seasoned gamers could could say that like that's probably one of the main reasons i'd imagine why a lot of people play games is because uh when you truly become a part of another world or a part or, or part of a character like it's mm -hmm. just unlike any immersive experience you can have i think that's why games are just such a powerful form of uh, entertainment is because yeah. uh, you truly are becoming like a part of this big adventure you're going on. Well, I mean, yeah. there's good games and there's bad games, but uh, even in games where you aren't particularly like pay the, uh, like paving the way of the character through your choices and stuff. Like for instance, The Last of Us, right. we are kind of just taking a seat in that journey. You still feel invested in it because you know you are playing as Joel. Mm -hmm. You are still getting through the combat sections and gameplay sections. Right. You're not particularly making uh, choices you know per se and changing the story and stuff but you still feel like you have a hand you know inside that world based on you know gameplay itself certainly so um i mean those top two reasons i'm trying to think of another one i mean obviously i don't feel like i have to have like 10 reasons this is the exact 10 bullet point reasons why i play games <laughs> but those are the two big ones uh no i feel like every gamer can basically you know relate to you i, f I feel like life is just 
you know, depending on, you know, what you do, you can make your life exciting and stuff like that. But no matter what you do, you can't do the things that can happen in these games and stuff yeah. like. Especially when you see mods on GTA 5 on PC, like there's no way you can do that in real life, obviously. <laughs> I mean, you can't, you can't fly across a city as a monkey and shoot cars out of a bazooka into other yeah. cars and cause explosions. I mean, yeah, that's just something just you can't get anywhere else. fall out of the sky yeah. and stuff. <laughs> I mean, it, there's there's two time there's two I think there's two different types of people that play games. There's there's people that you know play to get immersed in games, and there's people to enjoy themselves. And I right. like to say that I like to you know dance on the line between the two because I'm mean, definitely my most mem- memorable gaming experiences have to do with the games that I can like you were saying that I can invest myself into that I feel like I'm a part of the world, and you know games that like I kind of forget about everything else if I have something going on in my life like through work or when I was in school, just, Mm -hmm. you know, just stress of the everyday life. You can kind of just forget about that and just like truly, you know, be fixated on what's going on in this, you know, amazing world that you're participating in. Mm -hmm. And then it comes to the point, like playing competitive shooters and stuff. I guess uh, some days I like to play competitive shooters. Blow off some steam. Exactly. (laughs) But then others, it just kind of fills me with steam. Yeah. So I kind of like to, that's why I kind of, kind of stray. Not that I, you know, don't enjoy competitive shooters or competitive games anymore. I just, I, uh, I don't get, you know, I tend to get, you know, more caught up in the competitiveness and winning a game and not losing as in to like, you know, going into like a single player game to actually get rid of that stress that's, you know, I've built up during the day as opposed to getting more stress. For sure. So it just kind of, you know, depends on what mood I'm in. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, definitely. But I would, I would necessarily, I've been playing games my entire life and it's just like they're the three major forms of media are video games, novels, and movies. Mm-hmm. And I love all three of them equally, and they're all good in their own right. But I think video games is almost like a merging of novels. It's a merging of video of movies and stuff. Not only do you watch, you know, what's going on, but kind of like you 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 know, you watch and like a novel of stories going on and stuff. And you're you know you're watching it, but it, and then it puts the gameplay aspects into it to where you can control mm-hmm. the story, you control mm-hmm. what's going on the screen and stuff like that. So it's almost like the perfect you know hybrid. I don't know if that like I know what you mean. Okay, <laughs> it's kind of when you think about it like a store a book and a movie are you know they're kind of the same. You're watching right. instead of reading and stuff. Mm-hmm. But I read a lot in The Witcher, so I guess that's kind of like a yeah mix between the two. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, yeah it's just like the perfect media it's it's you know until we get to the point where you can control what happens in movies and stuff which would be freaking awesome you know to you know be able to control a movie as well um that's just kind of where we are right now is games is the perfect form of entertainment yeah that's why they're i mean i i it's i guess it's safe to assume i mean this is probably common knowledge i don't keep up with st- statistics but games are just still getting bigger and bigger as time goes on yeah i mean they're, they're the number one form of entertainment yeah, on the it, planet yeah it's huge and uh i have no doubt in my mind i mean games have been with me essentially since the beginning of my life i, I think the first game i mean i know the first game console i ever had was super nintendo and i think i started around when i was like four or five mm-hmm. and they've been with me ever since and i know f- without a shadow of a doubt i'm gonna be playing games till i die so yeah I've i mean never, in some way shape or form i can't form, remember I'm be never playing not games. playing games yeah me too it's just like a I don't, I don't know. I just don't even think so, about it. I don't, I don't think there's ever been other, unless I've been on like a trip where I can't play games. I don't think there's ever been like a solid, like week in my life. Other than that, like I said, I've been on a few trips where I literally have no choice other than to not play games at all. But yeah. I don't think there's ever been a week in my life since I started playing games that I haven't played yeah. some sort of game. I think, <laughs> I think it's like some people like when they come home, they watch TV and stuff. Like mm-hmm. I don't even do that. Me I, neither. I just, if I, if I'm bored and I want something to do, I can play a game. Yep. That's just. I don't think about it. Well, what TV shows on? I don't even know what's on TV right now besides like Game of Thrones. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't care. I'm sure watching tonight games. and I'm excited. Yes, I'm excited as well. We're actually, we missed it. Did you record it? No. But it's on Xfinity. We, we can okay. always watch it on Xfinity. That's fine. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I feel like if there's more people here that could chime in and kind of like spark yeah. more things in memory. I know there's bound to be more reasons why I play, but those like what we discussed. I, I mean, think I like think the, the main, main reason, reason you play it why. is you just it's it's something that we truly love. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's we've gone into the details of why we love them, and that's just why would you do anything that you didn't enjoy or love? So, yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's so. games have touched millions of people, mm-hmm. and they've touched us as well. Yeah, they've touched us they've exquisitely. Touched us. <laughs> <laughs>